Hi everyone. So Philip is working on a furniture restoration project. So we have this beautiful mid-century modern coffee table. It is completely authentic from somewhere in the mid to late 50s. It came from a family member. Um, unfortunately, it looks like there's been some water damage or just like aging on this piece of furniture. So what we're doing right now is that, uh, well, Philip's trying to get his sander to work. And as soon as he gets that done, he can um, work on just uh, sanding this finish a little bit and then applying a new clear coat on top and hopefully getting it looking spick and span as soon as possible. All right, guys, I know Phil's still working on unpacking a lot of his tools, but we got a workshop in progress here. Some cool like vintage machines. So got a little bit of a bench grinder right here, a workbench that even has outlets installed in it. He was just working on restoring this lathe last night. Um, it's got a cool little motor that goes with it. And then one of the coolest things we got is this drill press. It's like super, super heavy and just like vintage. And it's just like, he's got it all oiled up. And so let me see if I can, yeah, you can just like, it's like butter now. So cool. And then he inherited a lot of these, um, just like accessories and, you know, rivets and brads and tacks and nails and like literally if any piece of like attachment you need, we've got. So it's like a great way to get started on this workshop with all of our many projects to come. Right, Phil? Mm -hmm. I think it's deeper than we thought. You've gone pretty far into it, yeah? No, I pretty much just scraped the finish off. Yeah, you can still see like some of the gray discoloration from that damage. <laughs> Right, this is what it looks like after putting on vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. Um, after the initial 10 minutes, we decided to put the hydrogen peroxide back on again for a lot longer, I think a couple hours. You can still see, <laughs> I thought the hiccups. You can still see a little bit of staining. So we're gonna give it a light sand and see if that helps. And then we might try our, um, peroxide or wood bleach again. <laughs>
All right, everyone. So we have left this to dry for a while now to make sure that the stain did not come back. It looks like there's maybe a little bit of discoloration left over, maybe right here. But we think that once we finish sanding all of this and get it refinished, that it will look brand new. So all we're going to do is even out some of these patches here, get it all the finish taken off. And then we will restain this and refinish it so that we can get it back upstairs in our living room. us about two months and <laughs> that's it uh, it's got like five foot of varnish it came out super smooth it matches the wood grain of all of our other furniture and it's looking great